Hey guys, it's Yuta. So I know you guys are wondering what Japanese people think of Netflix's Death Note. So we're gonna talk about it today. And actually, I couldn't find an entry on the usual movie review sites in Japan. And it's probably because it's only on Netflix. And it's also probably because not many Japanese people watched it because Netflix is not that popular in Japan. But fortunately, many Japanese people are tweeting about it. So I use Twitter as my source of reviews. And be careful, this video totally contains spoilers. Alright, so not surprisingly, it seems like many Japanese people didn't like the movie. There are way more negative tweets than positive tweets. I stopped watching Netflix's Death Note after about 15 minutes because it was too painful to watch. I watched the overseas version of Death Note, but it was horrible in many ways. They scraped off the good things about Death Note and now it's a different story where they just kill people. It was rubbish. And the most common problem seems to be the lack of brain. It wasn't good because I think what makes Death Note interesting is the brainy fights between Light and L rather than Death Note that makes it possible to kill people by writing names. I would be very unhappy if I saw this in cinema. You should just give up watching it if you are expecting sophisticated brainy fights between Light and L like the original. It was pretty different from the Death Note I know because of the match between Light who gives in to sexual temptations and is easily controlled by a girl and L who is dumb. I do like how L looks so it would have been better if he was actually a smart guy. So reading through the tweets, I realized that there are common themes that people brought up. So here are six things that Japanese people tweet about Netflix's Death Note. Number one, Light tells Mia about Death Note right away. And he's simply not very careful about it. In the original version, Light comes up with many creative ideas of hiding Death Note. For example, there is a scene where he uses a crisp bag to hide a mini TV so that he can learn about criminals and he kills those people. But from other people, it looks like he's just studying. And it gives him an alibi because he cannot kill people when he's just studying. So he cannot be Kira. This kind of creativity is lacking in the film and it's very careless. Number two, Light and L are too stupid. Because what makes Death Note interesting is two impossibly smart guys who use their brain power to get ahead. But Light and L in the movie are not even remotely as smart as the ones in the original version. I was disappointed that Light and L were so stupid. Number 3. L is too emotional. Because L is supposed to be the super smart detective. But in the movie, he actually physically tries to kill Light with a gun. And the original L would never do that kind of unsophisticated thing. L tends to be emotional and doesn't look like the world's number one detective. Number 4. Inaccurate Japan. So this is an interesting point because the reviewers are Japanese. And in the movie, there is a brief scene that takes place in Japan. And apparently Japanese people thought it was kind of fake, as it often happens in Hollywood. They also commented that they didn't understand L's Japanese. And also in the movie, Light mentioned that the word Kira sort of means killer in Japanese, which it doesn't. Because in the original version, it's just a nickname that people came up with. There goes Weird Japan again, because they tried hard to include portrayals of Japan. Number 5. The ways that Death Note kills people are too gruesome. And it's true because compared to the original version, the movie is more graphic. But it's not necessarily a bad thing because some people did like it while others didn't. The ways people die are too gruesome. LOL. Number 6. The end credits. Now this is very interesting because I've never thought about this. But apparently, many Japanese people didn't like how they used the behind the scenes stuff as part of the end credits. 
Above all, the end credits are no good. Don't use behind the scenes stuff. Right, so many Japanese people didn't like the film. However, there are also positive reviews. It was really fun. It was like a mix of a school drama and final destination. And it's awesome that it was quite emo because of the young and naive characters. It was great Americanization. I definitely want them to make a sequel. It was quite interesting. The story was different from the manga, but it doesn't seem weird if you think this as a hypothetical situation where Kira is a nerdy American student instead of a Japanese high school student. They managed to make Death Note properly as a 100 minute film. It was more interesting than I thought, even though it was full of questionable moves that could get them caught like 100 times. The heroine, Margaret Qualley, is cute, so everything is okay. But if you ask me, I couldn't enjoy the film as much as I wanted to. I was totally ready to forget the original version because, you know, given the time constraint, I think it will be very, very hard to make it as good as the original. But I was at least expecting something entertaining, but it wasn't an enjoyable film overall. I think it would have been much better if they had just kept the concept of Death Note and made something totally, totally different with different characters. Because you can do many, many interesting things using the concept of Death Note, but I feel like so much potential has been wasted. So I think you should just read the original manga or watch the anime version. But if you want to truly enjoy the original version in Japanese, I think you should learn Japanese. And if you want to learn Japanese with me, I can send you some free lessons by email, so click the link and join my email group, Japanese with Yuta. Alright, see you guys soon. Ciao, ciao!